Good morning, my friends. How are you? It's me. And I don't know, I think it's July. Is it July 26th? It's Thursday. I just got done working out with Brandon. I died. It was, um, I think he took it easy on me the first couple times I was back, but not today. Today was the biggest loser workout. Um, and I've been thinking about making this video for probably a couple weeks and was going back and forth on whether I was going to make a video about it or not, but I really, um, I feel like I need to. Um, so I'm going to try something new, you guys. Uh, I have YouTube my journey for a long, long, long time. So probably weekly for, um, three and a half years and then intermittently over this last year and I have gotten so much from that um, experience and you know I mean most of my closest friends came from uh, YouTube and so many of you have buoyed me up and supported me and been beyond kind and have created this I'm gonna cry <laughs> Do you know, it's like 7.15 and this is the third time I'm going to have cried today. Um, but this has, you guys have created a community that's been very important to me. But I need to try something different now. <laughs> you know, I have spent, um, I have spent my entire life both focusing externally and seeking external validation. And I just really feel like I need to try something different and um, see what it feels like to work through that stuff in internally or with a few close friends and I feel like um, you know it's interesting I was talking to some people the other day we were talking about addiction and how with alcoholics and addicts they say that your emotional maturity level stops when you start um, actively drinking or using that your emotional tree level st uh, stopped. And I really feel like that there can be a similar thing with some people with their, with the way they eat and use food emotionally, because when you're using food like that, you're stuff, you're stuffing, um, all those emotions and not dealing with them. Um, and you know, I look back on the last couple of years and see where that was true for me and um, in terms of a lot of different things but anyway I'm I've I've learned a lot over this past year about what's important to me and what I need and I think I need to pull that in a little bit internally to just me and um, the people I'm closest to in my life. So I uh, am going to be, I wish that I could just make my um, channel private. If anybody knows how to do it, supposedly there's a way to make your channel invisible, but I tried for an hour and a half last night to figure out how to do it and I couldn't do it. So I'm going to make most of my videos private. Um, I will leave, you know, of course the, um, the interviews with the doctors and then some of mine um, that have been uh, really popular and, and are about the basics of weight loss surgery. I'm going to leave those up and then over, I was thinking over the next period of time, I'm going to go through and review all my videos. Number one, because I think I need to check in with that. Um, and number two, to see what I feel like is appropriate. I don't want to abandon this totally, and I'm sure I'll be back every once in a while to make an update, but I just feel like there's too many things that I've put out there that um, there are things I don't necessarily want to share with the whole world. And so I need to, um, I need to sort of look at that and look at my videos and make a decision about that. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I think it's... Um, because I feel a commitment and a connection to everybody and I don't want to just disappear. Um, so probably I'll work on that this weekend. Making things private is going to take a while. Do you know, I was thinking, well, I could watch one of my videos a day. How long would that take? It would take a flipping year. I have more than 300 videos. Ugh, that's way too much talking. 
way, way, way too much talking. So, um, in terms of me, just like a quick update, I am doing fine. I am, um, I put myself on sort of a 60 day challenge that is, and I don't know that I'll be able to keep to all of these things that I set up in this challenge, but the three main ones are keto, uh, strength training three times a week with Brandon and no alcohol for the next eight weeks. So, and then I'm going to see where I'm at at the end. I mean, keto has to be a part of my life forever. I mean, I know that, but the, we'll see about an extra. Well, anyway, hopefully this will lead into, I don't think I can go no alcohol forever or I want to do that, but, um, we'll see where we are at the end of those 60 days. And, um, how do I feel? Physically, I feel pretty good. I'm like exhausted right now. Brandon literally killed me. Um, and I feel really depleted and a little emotional because I was so exhausted. But physically, I feel good. My um, sleep was really messed up for a while, but it seems to be back on track. Um, emotionally, I'm just figuring stuff out. And I'm a little grumpy, as all my friends can attest to, and a little annoying. But, uh, but generally, I'm feeling really good. And... Um, and like I'm doing the things that are important for me to succeed. So I, you guys know, I do not want to cry. You guys know what a place that you all have in my heart. And I'm always loving you and wishing you well. And I will definitely still be um, on Instagram. And then we'll just see what happens with YouTube. But for the time being, I feel like I need to take things down. All right. All right. I love you guys. Have a great week. And I will see you soon.